Now let's understand the microscopic lesion of necrosis. There are two type of changes in the necrotic cells. First type is a nuclear changes and second type is a cytoplasmic changes. First is a nuclear changes. It include pycnosis, karyolysis, karyohexis, karyostasis and chromatolysis. Oh man, they are all are confusing. Don't worry, I will make it simple. First is a pycnosis which means condensation of chromatin or nuclear material which lead to the shrinkage of nucleus. This word came from the Greek word pycnos which means thickening or condensation. After this there will be fragmentation of nucleus appear and this term is known as karyorexis. And if you break down this term, karyo means nucleus and rexis means bursting or fragmentation. After this, dissolution of nucleus into the small fragments or basophilic granules occurs and this process is known as karyolysis. In short, you can remember like this, pycnosis means nuclear shrinkage followed by karyorexis means nuclear fragmentation followed by karyolysis meaning nuclear fading. Next is a karyostasis means appearance of cracks over the nucleus. And last is a chromatolysis, meaning lysis of chromatin material. Second type is a cytoplasmic changes. The necrotic cells show increased eosinophilia, means increase in the number of eosinophils. Cells outline are absent. The cell have more glassy homogeneous appearance than the normal cell due to the loss of glycogen particles. When lysosomal enzyme come into the action, they digest the cytoplasmic organelles and Cytoplasm becomes the vacuolated and gives moth eaten appearance, exactly that you can see on the picture. Finally, calcification of necrotic cell may occur. I am admiring your patience to watch this video till the last. In next upcoming video, I will discuss about the types of necrosis. So stay tuned and hit the like button and say 